14 weeks. Yes! Woo! Don't worry, I'm okay. Slight slip. Grand. Uh, so 14 weeks done. I have done what I think is achievable and healthy without too much strain. I haven't been mad and um, restricted myself too much. I've had something I like every day and I really don't see how it would be a big problem for anybody, no matter what you think your willpower is, to do what I just did for 14 weeks. As long as you don't view the 14 weeks as an end goal, then you will be fine and you can do it. And I'll show you how I did it. I went from this guy to this boy. Um, you might think, and a lot of you will say it, because there's so much of it, whenever you put up photos, I prefer the boy before. The boy before is better crack. Yeah, he probably was, I know. But this boy is what you've got right now. So, happy days. Um, one word, how I did it. Plan, I got a plan. I planned, and a plan, 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 and stuck to the plan. The plan wasn't tough, the plan wasn't out of the ordinarily complicated, it was simple. It was the path of least resistance, I could achieve it. It was, I had chocolate every night, I think. Well, not chocolate, but chocolate porridge, yes. And then some nights I had um, the clever cook. Um, she was cooking these buns and I managed to limit it to one, which is good. But I had them for a while, what else did I have? Peanut butter and stuff, yeah, something I like every night. So, it wasn't a tough diet, it was grand. Last week, possibly a bit harder. But, where are we gonna go? What I didn't feel like doing at the end was... Yes! I love cake! If I had felt like doing that, then I possibly had done it wrong because I put a list in my head of everything that I wanted to eat whenever it was over, but I didn't and I'm fine and I could do this for the rest of my life. Could I? So what did I do on the food front? Here you go. Food! And the gym, talking about food, in the gym, love it, love it, love it, love it. What's on the table? This is my diet over the last 14 weeks. I'm gonna keep it simple. To be honest, I just did this a minute ago. Well, I, just, I started the video 20 minutes ago and I can't shut up when I start chatting about food and nutrition, so I'm gonna keep it real simple. This is not gonna cover everything, it's just what I put in my boxes whenever I am prepping for a day. So, law of quarters. Scott Bapti does a good um, way of explaining it. Two quarters of your box wants to be nutrient dense vegetables. Green vegetables most of the time is what I would have used. I'm gonna talk about me during this, so. Green veg, two quarters. You could have a salad if you're having a cold meal. You could have some spinach, you could have some broccoli or asparagus if you're having a hot one. Prep it, throw it in the box, good to go. Then you wanna think, what goes with what greens I have in it? If you've got broccoli, then possibly you wanna have some chicken that you have seasoned with some, I don't know, garlic and pepper seasoning. Don't be afraid to season your food, keep it tasty. So, two quarters green veg, one quarter you've got protein, it could be fish, it could be lean mince, it could be chicken, turkey, steak, you know, just keep the meats lean. Don't go for your high fat ones, and maybe don't stay away from the processed meats. Keep it lean, maybe you want to have eggs as another protein source. Maybe you're having a protein shake. I wouldn't have my protein shakes with my asparagus. Anyway, so taking away the individual calculations that I would have to make for my diet and making it up to my macros of my carbs, my protein and my fats, I would have filled the last quarter with carbohydrates. So this is where people start to get scared and they, they tend to take away from here. Don't use it. Bread. I would eat bread about three or four times a week. Keep it in. It keeps you sane and I like it and I like sandwiches. It's all good. Sweet potato, baby boils, microwavable packets of rice. Especially, I would have eaten a lot of pilau rice 
because I felt that if I kept the pilau in, I would be able to keep um, from adding sauces because it sort of gave its own flavor. So pilau rice, spinach, chicken, um, and then I pan fried some mushrooms and onions and tomatoes, all good. Fruit falls into the carbohydrate section as well. Don't be afraid of it. Fats, where did I get my fats from? I would have eaten every meal and with the fat and it would probably have come from coconut oil that I cooked the meat in or I would have eaten nuts if I was having a protein shake and I needed some fats or to make up the numbers, I would have had olive oil with my salads. So, two, thir or two quarters you're gonna have green veg, one quarter you're gonna have protein, one quarter you're gonna have carbohydrates, and then a bit of fat to make up your numbers. That's about it. The most important thing I found with my diet was what I relied on in the evening to keep me sane. So instead of walking into the kitchen at 10 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night starving and having everything to eat in the kitchen and be like, what am I going to eat? And then you end up overeating. I would have said, right, what am I eating? And had a plan before I got into the kitchen that I was going to eat protein porridge. That kept me sane. I have protein bars here. This 5% of food in your daily an intake that is sweet and not nutritionally dense is just as important as everything else because it's going to make you adhere to the diet for longer and the longer you can stick on your diet the better that diet's going to be for you the best diet for you is not going to be the one that is technically the cleanest or the one that can make you lose most fat it's the one that you can stick to so i would count my the five percent of stuff that is tasty and that isn't maybe the most nutritionally dense, the cheat food, that's just as important to me if you don't binge on it. And by having it on a regular basis, you're not gonna binge. So that is food and eat it. So as you see, that, I don't think that's very hard to do. And I think most of you could do it. Everyone could do that. Um, the exercise. Let's take a wee look at what I did for the exercise. Training. How did I train? How should you train during a diet? The way I split it, I, didn't, I did cardio the last day of my diet. I didn't do cardio during the diet, so don't base your fat loss on that, on cardio, because you're probably gonna overdo it and go off the diet, or you're gonna lose a lot of muscle mass. And so don't do a lot of cardio. It's something that can be added later if you need it, but I didn't need it. Um, I based it around three to four days. If it was doing three days a week, I'd do full body. If it was doing four days, I would do upper, lower, upper, lower. So it's best to stimulate the muscle twice a week. So uh, not wait doing one leg day on a Monday and then doing leg day the next Monday. You wanna do that muscle group twice a week. That's the best way for building muscle and the best, well, two to three. Um, the best way for building muscle is always gonna be the best way to maintain it whenever you are dieting. Go heavy, that doesn't mean you have to go heavy every set, but build up to a big set and make sure you're using all your muscle fibers or they will leave you and you will get muscle wastage. Be safe on the heavy because your strength is gonna possibly drop near the end of your diet and you won't be able to recover just as quickly as if you had a surplus of carbohydrates and so, or surplus energy, but you, uh, yeah, go heavy but be safe. Deloads, I would take them whenever I felt I need them, normally every six weeks, um, four to six weeks. This means that I would have halved my volume of what I was lifting, and this allows you to get a bit of recovery and come back, and you sometimes can even lift heavier straight away because you got the recovery. Auto-regulate days, so if I was feeling absolute balls one day, I would have understood this and says, I'm not gonna do heavy deadlifts today, even though I feel, if it was on the plan and I should have done it, that's fine. But if I felt so grim that I thought I was going to injure myself and I wasn't being lazy, I was being sensible and smart, I would auto-regulate and say, right, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to move maybe the, the upper body day to this day so as I can give the deadlifts a good go later in the week. So auto-regulate. Base around compound lifts, so using more than one muscle at a time. Don't go in and start banging out bicep curls and calf raises and expect that you're going to maintain all your muscle. They are auxiliary exercises to back up the compounds. Maintain strength, um, log down everything you're lifting and try at the start of your diet and at the end of your diet to be lifting more or less the same thing. You probably won't, but try. That is a good indication of maintaining muscle mass that you can still lift the same stuff. You might need a longer recovery, but if you can still lift it, you probably have got the same muscle with good form. 
Stimulate, not annihilate. That is the most important bit. And what you want to do is stimulate all the muscle fibers so as you can maintain the muscle. You don't want to go in and absolutely try and bust every muscle in your body for the pure reason that you won't recover. You're probably not going to stick to your diet if you're that fatigued. Your repairing process has been hampered because you're on restricted calories. There's so much. Just stimulate the muscle. So work up to big sets, lift heavy. Um, whenever it comes time to smash it, that'll be in the hit training. Um, just because you're not trying to bust yourself every time doesn't mean you can't be 100% committed to doing what you're there to do. Just be smart with your training so as you don't get injured. That's about the height of it on the training side. Peace! So, 14 weeks wrapped up, little bow on top. Thanks for the support so much. That is me, done and dusted. Thank you for everyone that liked, commented, shared, got involved. Brilliant. Um, just unreal. Um, and a big, big thank you, probably, you know who you are, and they had to put up with a lot during it, but they were always there for me, and they were always supportive, and I owe so much to them, and just really, I, I, it's a bit sappy, it is, I know, and I shouldn't be doing it on a video, but you're just so pleasant, and you keep me going. Just Cafe Nero's, you're just unreal. I just love you, all the bits. The great, the soy latte. Uh, you're like a shining star in a dark world. I, 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 I owe you a lot, and so do my abs. So, Cafe Nero, keep it up. Love you. I'm out, eat your greens, and I will see you later. Ah, you thought it was finished.